Peter Burns now up on four questions with KSR. First things first, we got a lot of gimmicks here. Wait, four. Okay, so why why did we start? We like, four downs. Four okay, questions. I mean, I'm just mentally trying to prepare myself for the, the four. Right? Okay. I'm more worried. Well, if you had a bit or a gimmick as an SEC coach, you got to make a splash here. You can filibuster like oh, yeah. Shane Beamer and shout out your recruits. Yes. You can wear your sneakers like Dan Mullen. What would Peter Burns' gimmick be at SEC I'd Media Days? I'd probably try to find out what the best SEC golfer was on tour and try to get an actual lesson as a golf lesson. I think that would be my, my way to go. So, you know, Coach Stoops is a big golfer, so yeah. I'd probably see – uh, I'd probably try as many name drops at the golf courses, so that way they allow me on the golf course instead of kicking me out like normal. Oh, okay. That's that's one way to go about it. Uh, Joe Moorhead just tried to get somebody to follow him on Twitter. That's definitely the lamest of all of the. I like. Gimmicks. You know what though? I do respect that. I like. Hey, Joe Moorhead was actually fun. And by the way, he knows more hip hop than any SEC coach in the history. Really? I would have never thought it, but yes, Joe Moorhead. Pittsburgh, hip hop central of America. Who would have thought? But he was that guy. So the name Peter Burns. Do you ever think about going by Pete? Uh, trust me. Listen, when my parents named me, and I didn't know until I was about nine or ten that I sounded like a venereal disease <laughs> symptom. So try, yeah, I can't even imagine like growing up when I was dating girls and then they came home. They're like, hey, I'm dating Peter Burns. I'd be like, that's just some. Mm, yeah, yeah. I my son's my son's name's Thomas, so we, we made sure it wasn't like <laughs> Peter Burns Jr. That probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That could have been even worse. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, you know LSU well in the area. I know you do SEC this morning. You're on 17,000 different SEC <laughs> platforms, yeah. uh, 17,000 different shows, programs. But at LSU, they've got a quarterback competition. Yeah. Who's going to be the quarterback? Uh, if I had to guess, I still think it's going to be Max Johnson. And that was – talk about names, right? you got the yeah, that, Max Johnson. Right? Man, that is great. Um, Miles Brennan, I think, is, is really good. But I think for whatever they're looking for, and it, I think so much is – and that's about talent, too. I think it's also work ethic, too. I think they need to get out there and – and Brad Johnson's son works out pretty well, and I think there was so much um, momentum towards the end of last year. But I will say this, it's the first time that I can ever remember in Baton Rouge that they've had not only one really good quarterback, but two. So like, imagine saying that five years ago, there's yeah, no way in no, hell no. Uh, The last time I was at LSU, they were like, Man, Mettenberger, the best quarterback ever. That, and Mettenberger was good, but I don't think he even he, he's as good as those guys. Right, right. And then you get, Joe Burrow, he was pretty good quarterback too. Yeah. Different, different level. Yeah. So I, I, I want to ask people how Kentucky gets to the to Atlanta, but really I want to ask how do they how do they pull off one of those upsets? You've got three sandwiches in the middle schedule: Florida, yeah. LSU. At Georgia, most likely upset of those three. Um, I mean, go big or go home, right? I mean, it's, you know, that's the thing that I love about Coach Stoops. Now, my favorite SEC Media Day memory, and I always tell this when people are asking about it, is in 2018, I remember him coming off the podium and coming to some of our uh, interview stuff. And I catch him in the hallway, and I was, and he is not a happy camper whatsoever. You know, he is, he's Coach Stoops, right? <laughs> and I was like, Coach, everything okay? Like, somebody upset me? He's, and he just pulls me to the side, he talks none of these guys are giving my, my team any success you, you know uh, just interviews aren't great they're like this is ridiculous it's like well what's going on he's like this team's going to be damn good and nobody's respectful and it was at that moment that I had so much respect for Coach Stoops because I don't think he's afraid of anything mm -hmm. I mean, you look at the schedule they can get off to a 5-0 6-0 start and all of a sudden you got Georgia if I'm not mistaken like right in the middle of that schedule so mm -hmm. I don't know I mean heavy is the head that wears the crown why don't you go after it if you're, uh, if you're Mark Stoops boom anything is possible. Peter Burns, thanks for chatting with KSR. <laughs> thanks, guys.